In his younger days, he earned a reputation as a savage and brutal muscle man. But everything that goes around comes around, and as a result, he is the constant target of those hungry for vengeance. But even that is a game to bedge. Hello and welcome to One Piece 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the One Piece world. Today, we are going to be examining the Mafia Don turned pirate, Capone Gang Bedge. Capone Gang Bedge is a stocky, well dressed chap who is the captain of the Fire Tank Pirates and a member of the ever infamous Worst Generation. Bedge presents himself as a sophisticated and gentlemanly type of man, often pursuing interest in the areas of fine dining and sleek fashion. As part of this, he places great emphasis on cleanliness and general hygiene, often going so far as to not even be in the same room as an individual who does not meet his own hygienic standards. But with all of that in mind, Bedge has a completely different side to him altogether, which is a ruthless, bloodthirsty sadist with interests that include causing as much instability as possible and reveling in the ensuing chaos. And in order to see what I mean by that, we're going to have to travel back in time to the very beginnings of Capone Gang Beige. As a young lad, Beige grew up in West Blue and swiftly became the boss of one of the five families of the West, a series of organized crime groups that controlled underworld operations in West Blue. Beige's preferred method of warfare between these families was to aim directly for the boss, the removal of which would satiate Beige's lust for chaos, as he would proceed to watch the struggle resulting from a power vacuum within the family. In terms of achieving these goals, Beige favours planning, tactics and trickery rather than getting into a full-blown conflict himself. Using his strategic prowess, Beige is able to take down opponents far more powerful than himself, which makes him a rarity amongst the worst generation, many of whom rely on direct conflict and sheer power to overcome their respective situations. However, obviously these actions made Beige an awful lot of enemies, although he was able to stave them off quite easily due to the power of his devil fruit known as the Shiro Shiro no Mi. This is a paramecia type fruit that allows its user to become a living force Fortress. And yes, that is as absurd as it sounds. Essentially, Bedge's body functions as a fully equipped castle with a range of rooms fit for a king and even features a drawbridge, which is cool because I mean, everyone loves drawbridges. Furthermore, this fruit is also able to automatically shrink anyone or anything that Bedge desires to enter his fortress body. And he can even produce a miniature version of himself within himself, which is weird to think about, but uh, hey, there it is. Bedge can also seemingly morph his real body into castle-like features, such as manifesting treads on his lower portion and becoming a tank. However, all of this can also culminate in Bej transforming into a gigantic golem-like fortress known as Big Father, which we'll come back to later. However, for now, Bej's abilities made him essentially unstoppable in the realm of West Blue, and eventually the Mafia Don became increasingly bored, and so he decided to venture into the Grand Line, converting his Mafia family into the Fire Tank Pirates. However, this change in profession did not change his methodology at all, as Bej still favoured targeting renowned pirate captains whilst leaving their crews intact, but in a state of sheer chaos. And these actions in the Grand Line would go on to earn Bedge a bounty of 138 million berries. Eventually, Bedge followed his pathway through the Grand Line to Sabari Archipelago, and he happened to arrive at roughly the same time as 10 other rookie pirates with bounties over 100 million berries. As a result of this unintentional gathering, Bedge, along with the other 10 individuals, were dubbed as the Supernovas. During his time on the archipelago, Bedge came into conflict with Jewelry Bonnie, another of the supernovas, and was immediately disgusted by her approach to consuming food. Sometime later, Monkey D. Luffy would punch a world noble at the human auction house, causing a marine admiral to be summoned to the archipelago. Immediately after hearing this, Bedge, knowing that he did not possess the time or strength to defeat an admiral, ordered his men to set sail for Fishman Island, although they were initially blocked by a force of marines, who went on to be dispatched by the fire tank pirates with great ease. After managing to evade capture or conflict, Bedge returned to Sabadee in order to witness the Paramount War being broadcast, and following the death of Whitebeard, Bedge, along with the majority of the supernovas, entered the New World. And upon arrival in the sea, Bedge immediately encountered a large black object in the sky, the nature of which still actually remains a mystery at the time of this recording. During the two-year time skip, Bedge and the Fire Tank Pirates entered the territory of Charlotte Lin Lin, who is better known as Big Mom, one of the four emperors. Here, Bedge was convincingly defeated, and as a result, he chose to ally his crew with the Big Mom Pirates. In doing so, Bedge married one of Big Mom's daughters, Charlotte Chiffon, and the two even had a son together named Capone Pez. It should also be noted that after becoming a father, Bedge's ruthlessness lessened somewhat, and he was instilled with a new sense of mercy. Not a great sense by any means, but a sense nonetheless. Furthermore, he also seemed to genuinely care for his wife Chiffon, and that feeling was certainly mutual, as Chiffon would come to be more loyal to Bedge than her own family. However, this did not mean that Bedge had consigned himself to a life serving under another. To the contrary, Bedge spent his time affiliated with the Big Mom Pirates hunting for a weakness in regards to Big Mom herself so that he could enact a plan to kill her. And after some time, this weakness would be found in the form of the photo of Mother Caramel. 
In order to make his eventual assassination plot easier, Bedge started strategically targeting lesser members of the Big Mom Pirates. And one such victim would be the Lion Mink Pecoms, whom Bedge attempted to assassinate once on Zoe, when the two of them were sent to capture Sanji, and a second time in Totland itself. But back to the whole capturing Sanji thing, as a result of bringing this Straw Hat member to Whole Cake Island, Luffy and a retrieval team had followed them, and despite Bedge's initial distaste for Luffy, the two of them would end up forming an alliance to kill their common enemy, Big Mom, on the eve of Sanji's wedding. However, despite Bedge having identified Big Mom's only tangible weakness, and an incredible amount of careful planning, the assassination plot would fail, and force the Fire Tank Pirates to attempt a swift retreat from Whole Cake Chateau. In this effort, Bedge was forced to activate Big Father, and to his eternal credit, he actually managed to hold off Big Mom long enough for an escape plan to be concocted and put into action. After escaping the Chateau and cutting ties with the Straw Hats, Bedge found himself assisting Sanji, Chiffon, and Pudding in their efforts to bake and deliver a cake to Big Mom, which was a series of actions that sprang out of concern for his wife. Aww. Once the cake had been successfully delivered, Beige, his family, and the Fire Tank Pirates managed to escape Totland on a stolen Tartar ship. However, Beige would become greatly displeased, and global news outlets mainly glorified Luffy's involvement in the incident. Some more fun facts about Capone Gang Beige. Beige's origins in the Five Families of the West Blue are possibly based on the real-life Five Families, which are the five major crime families controlling the New York underworld. Beige's surname Capone obviously comes from the real-life 1920s gangster Al Capone, and furthermore, Beige even shares a birthday with Capone, with both of them having been born on January 17th. Beige, along with the other members of the Worst Generation, were very busy during the two-year time skip, which did result in Beige having his bounty raised to 300 million berries. And finally, a truly useless fact. In addition to fine dining and viewing paintings, one of Beige's most actively pursued hobbies is playing board games. But that pretty much does it for Capone Gang Beige. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon, because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also, do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items, with the proceeds also going to directly support the channel. And if you'd like to join in the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server, where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with who, what, or where you'd like to see featured in the next One Piece 101.